Pipeline first at 10. After 14 months of planning, city councilors this week approved the Kirkpatrick Heights Master Plan. It aims to redevelop three areas of one of Tulsa's historic neighborhoods. Two News Oklahoma's Jeanette Quesada shows us the vision behind the project and how the community is responding. Wednesday night, the Tulsa City Council unanimously approved a master plan that aims to redevelop 56 acres in North Tulsa, including a neighborhood once known for its economic prosperity. The Kirkpatrick Heights Master Plan aims to redevelop three publicly owned areas across Tulsa. This parcel of land is one of them. It sits right next to historic Brennan AME Church. They're trying to turn it into Greenwood Plaza, a place where the community can gather. Jonathan Butler with Partner Tulsa says the plaza is the first phase of the project. They hope to break ground next month. The other two parcels would be developed later. They include a site close to Emerson Elementary and another near Langston University Tulsa and OSU Tulsa. Mixed use development, um, retail, commercial activity, residential. Butler says so far they have $2 million for the plaza, but anticipate more money will be needed. He says they've applied for grants, but the multi-million dollar plan will require significant fundraising. Our idea as stewards are to make sure that we hold true to the community's vision for what it wants to see happen in the space. Brenton Todd has lived in Tulsa all his life and is active in the Greenwood District. He says he's excited for the project, but says it's vital the community voices are included. It's really important for you to have a part in things that are supposed to be for you in order to feel like you have some ownership in it, have some stake in it, and want to really take care of it and see it grow to its best. Committees have held several community workshops to get feedback. Todd says moving forward, he would like to see even more opportunities for community involvement. We want to continue to make people who are from this area and that live in this area continue to benefit from this area. In Tulsa, Janet Quesada, to News Oklahoma. Now that the master plan has been approved, Butler says they're using a grant to develop a governance structure to support the holder of land. If you'd like to see more of the master plan, you can check out this story on our website at kjrh.com.